Sound It Out Phonics brings you Learn Double O by Lily Betts Resources. Now we're going to make another new sound by putting two O's together. I should actually say that we're going to make two new sounds with the same letters because two O's together can either make an OO sound that you can hear when we say moon or they can make an O uh sound that you hear when you say look, look. So I like to call this the cuckoo sound to remind me that when I see two O's, it could be O or it could be O. Now it's easy when you're spelling because you've just got to remember that O and O are both made with two O's. A little bit trickier when you're reading but it doesn't really matter if you make the wrong sound to begin with you'll soon correct yourself so don't worry about that so here are our two o's most of the children that i teach like to say oh ooh, oh ooh, ooh, rather than saying cuckoo and then it makes them remember oh or oo when you see two o's now we're ready to move on Let's look first of all at some words that have the sound u uh in them. All right. So here we have a foot. Foot. Can you hear u? Uh? Foot. Over here we have a book. Book. Yes, you can hear that, can't you? Here we have a hook. Hook rhymes with book hook and then last of all we have a hood this person has got their hood on hood. and i'm sure if we use rhyming words to help us because they're often helpful we can think of something to rhyme with hood like good okay so Let's have a look now at how to write these words. Here we have all ook. You could try saying all ook. You'll get Luke. And some people in some parts of the country do actually say Luke. It might sound funny to us southerners, but maybe other parts of the country that sounds perfectly normal. So you must say whatever is right for you. We mean look at the sky, look at this good food on the table, look at me. All right. So look, look. There it is. OK, that's one of those words that we see so often. I'm sure you'll quickly recognize it and won't need to sound it out. Here's a young man looking through his telescope to see if he can see any birds. Let's take a look at some words that have got the sound uh in them. Here's our first one and we've got t u uh. And we remember that two O's make one sound. And in this word, they're going to say, oh, all right. So we just say three sounds, t, u, k, together saying, took. Here's our next word. And we've got, b, u, k, book. I don't think you need me to tell you what a book is, do you? Here's another one, hook, hook. He hung his coat on a hook. And the last one, k, ook, cook. Now, just have a little look at all of those words for a moment. We could play spot, spot to the difference, but I think we'll say, can you find what each of those words have got in common? What's the same about them all? 
Can you see? If you can't, there it is. They've all got ook, took, hook, book, cook, and they all rhyme. So that's nice and easy, isn't it? That's a little way to remember each of these words. There's another one that's got u uh in it, but it doesn't rhyme with those. It's g, u, uh, d, good. Now we're going to look at some words where two O's say oo. So here we have a boot, boot, roof, food, and a moon. Listen as I say them again, ready? Boot, roof, food, moon. So here's our first word. We've got m, o, n. And you can hear what I'm saying, can't you? Moon. Could we try and make two O's say o uh, in that word? M, o, uh, n. Well, it wouldn't sound right, would it? And you'd quickly realise you'd made a mistake. So m, o, n is the right way to say it. Moon. Here's another one. B, oot, boot. Something we all like to eat. F, oot, food. And then this one. T, oo, two. Now, this isn't the number two. It's not, I went to the park. This is, my dog came with me too. And it means as well. Or it can be used when we say, I had too much to eat. I've had too much sleep. Okay. Don't worry about that too much at the moment. Ah, see, I used it there. Too much. But there are three kinds of two. That's the one that fits into this family. And then we have the other one that you probably already know, just T-O. And that's when we're talking about a place. I went to the park. I went to bed. I went to the shops. I went to, oh, where else can we go? The seaside. Yeah, that's something we use every day all the time. And the last one is the number two. And I'm afraid it's got this W in the middle of it that we just don't say and seems really out of place and odd. But be assured that is number two. Twa, if you really want to sound it out. Or just remember T-W-O. OK. Number two. T-W-O. Now, find a piece of paper, because I'm going to say a word and I want you to write it down. Pause the video if you need more time, or move it on if you need to go faster. Are you ready? The first word I want you to write is the word look. Look. The next one, took, took. Then book, book. And hook. Hook. Then cook, cook. Five. 
followed by good. Good. Next we have moon, moon. and boot, boot. Food, food. And two, as in too much. Well done. OK, stop there. Now you can check your work against the list of words here. What I want you to do is to make sure that you've spelt all of your words correctly. If you find one that isn't right, I want you to sound out what you have written. That will help you to see what went wrong and how to make sure that it doesn't go wrong again. Take time to do it carefully. Now I have a sentence for you to read. Sound out any words that you don't know, and then we'll have a look at it together in a minute. I hope you noticed two O's here in this word, looks. If you say looks, because you're up in the north somewhere, that's fine. And then book, book. You must say what is right for you. Let's read together now then. Pam looks at a book. I hope you like to look at books. Here's another one for you to read. Try by yourself first. Sound out any words you don't know and look out for ooh. ooh. I can see two O's here in k, uk, cook. I can see two O's here in g, ud, good. And I can see two O's here in f, ood, food. Let's read it together. Ready? Mum can cook good food. Can we do it a little bit better than that? Ready? Mum can cook good food. I'm sure she can. Here's another one for you. Look out for uh oh. I hope you spotted it just there, t, uk, and here, boots. One boot, put an S on the end, boots. All right, so now we're ready to read. Off we go. Tom, t, uk, took off his boots. Boots. Let's 
Let's read it again. Tom took off his boots. I expect he was tired at the end of the day, don't you? Now, this one hasn't got any uh oh words in it. But there's something else that we've learned in this lesson that I want you to watch out for. See if you can spot it. Did you notice we had number two, T-W-O, here? And just in case you didn't notice, we had C-K in this word here. Let's have a little look. Let's sound out if we, if we need to. Sam has two odd, odd sock, sock, sock. Socks. One sock. Lots of socks or two socks. All right. Let's read that again, shall we? Sam has two odd socks. Very good. Well done. Well done. You've worked really hard and you're making such progress now. So here is a big golden star to celebrate. Well done. Remember to look at the list of OO words every day and you can find games and worksheets to help you to practice the new sound at www.sounditoutphonics.weebly.com.